What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking, you know, kind of apartment locating content um, and just kind of more day in the life kind of stuff. And that's kind of what I'm shifting towards is just kind of doing, uh, you know, more daily video logs, vlogs, you know, vlogs, whatever y'all want to call it. Um, not necessarily bringing the camera through me all throughout the day, but you know, just some days a week, maybe twice a week, just trying to show you what I'm up to. Um, I know you guys, a lot of you guys are here from the pressure washing uh, business and that's in full swing. We're really busy. I just got back from Port Aransas. I'm a little tan um, and we had a great time. It was my birthday this past weekend, so it was my 25th birthday. We stayed uh, you know, in a hotel down there on the beach from Friday to Sunday, had a lot of fun. Let me go ahead and roll you guys a little clip of that action. Okay, so that was a blast. I had a lot of fun, but now we're kind of we're back at it, back at the grind. I got um, a lot of apartment locating to catch up on, um, and a bunch of pressure washing jobs to schedule and complete this week over the next two weeks. I'm actually going back to Port Aransas, uh, not this weekend, but the following weekend. I'm gonna go do some deep sea fishing out there. So uh, I'm having fun, guys. But I kind of want to bring you guys uh, through kind of what I'm doing today, and that is I got. Uh, a client I have an apartment I need to send an invoice to for a client that moves in today I'm gonna go ahead and call the client and uh, make sure they're moving in all good today and uh, everything's all good if they need anything else from me I'll kind of check in on them I'll go ahead and send the invoice to the apartment complex and then I have a, uh, an invoice that I sent out last month uh, 30 days from now exactly uh, from a client that I that moved in on May 15th, so it's June 15th, it's been 30 days, I have not been paid on the invoice, which is typical. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and you know, call, ask to speak to the property manager, kinda you know, ask and make sure they got the invoice okay, if there's any issues regarding that, and uh, hopefully we can expedite that payment. So uh, let me go ahead and show you guys real quick. So, I'm gonna cover up the name, but rent amount, 1875, 100% commission. There's the invoice, Austin Davis, Apartments of Austin Davis Company Real Estate. And that's the amount I'm invoicing the apartment complex to pay me, $1,875. So, go ahead and set back this camera. This is a Canon M50, by the way, guys. I just bought it. Uh, it's a beautiful camera. Um, all the footage that you saw from the Port A trip was filmed and uh, shot on this camera. And that frees my, my phone, my iPhone 11, uh, to make calls and have you guys kind of see how I talk to customers. So let's go ahead and call my customer client right here that moves in today and make sure they're all set and uh, ready to move in. <clears throat> Please leave your message for six, Leave it a message. One, seven, four. Hey Joe, it's Austin, your uh, locator. Just want to kind of give you a call and uh, uh, I know you guys are moving in today. Just want to make sure everything's going smoothly with that. If you guys need any, uh, you know, any, have any questions or need any help with the moving process, you guys should be all set with the apartment complex. You guys should just be able to go over there and get your keys because um, I believe the moving date was today. 
So uh, I really appreciate you guys, uh, you know, letting me uh, help you guys find an apartment. If you guys need any, you know, have any other friends in the market for an apartment, please let me know. And if you guys have any questions as far as uh, you know your move-in process, or if you're having issues talking with the apartment complex for any reason at all, do not hesitate to give me a call. So 512-364-5806. Thanks and have a blessed day. That's how that voicemail goes. Okay, so let's go ahead and send the invoice to the apartment complex. All right, and some of y'all want to know how the invoices work, you know, as I'm invoicing apartments and how that works. Look, the same email I've been contacting the apartment complex as far as, you know, uh, you know, reaching out to the apartment complex to see what kind of availability they have, who I'm talking to. That's the same email I'm going to use to uh, send the invoice. So invoice for my client, uh, trailhead at Graystar. It's a great Star community. So thank y'all so much for your business. It was a pleasure working for, for, with you. More leases to come in the future. I love your complex. Here's the invoice for my client that moves in today. And then I just uh, have the, you know, the invoice, my broker's license, and then my company W9. It's as simple as that. So let's go ahead and send that. Send, boop. Easy does it, that's how it goes. Now we're gonna go ahead and call, this is gonna be interesting, we're gonna call, uh, we're gonna call this apartment complex that I leased. They moved in on May 15th and it's now June 15th. And I'm gonna go ahead and follow up on that invoice uh, and make sure that they pay me. Something that's pretty important. Um, <laughs> <coughs> So let's do it. Let's see, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. They must have just opened. So let's see. Bada bing. Call. I'm gonna speak with a property manager. Uh, at least I'm gonna try. Um, this is what you gotta do. It's not as cookie cutter as it goes. You gotta follow up on the invoices because apartment complexes can lose track. Monica, can I help you? Hey, what's going on, Monica? It's Austin, I'm a locator. How are you? Hi, Austin. What can I help you with? Uh, not, not a whole lot. Hey, is the property manager available? Uh, she's not here this morning. Okay. Uh, do you know when when she uh, when she will be here? Uh, I believe she should be in a little bit later. I would try back maybe in about an hour, an hour and a half. She okay. Have some things to attend to when she rolls in. Sure. Try back then. Um, is there anything that I can help you with, or do you specifically need to speak with the manager? No, it's, it's all good. Um, I I just um. Uh, about a month, uh, about a month ago, thirty days ago, I, uh, my, I my client moved in there, and I'm just following up. I, I want to make sure she got my invoice that I sent you guys, or if I sent it to the you correct know, email. You can, you can always pop her an email as well. That's a, a really good way to communicate with the managers. Cool. You have that written? Do you have that written down somewhere? Maybe I can jot it down from you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just filling in. Let me hold on just one second, and I'll get her email for you. Just cool. This is what you got to do, guys. Got to follow up on invoices. Make sure she got it. Then I'm gonna get my paycheck in the mail. This one's worth about $13.50. $13.50 cash and money. Little to no work. A couple hours of searching on the internet for an apartment. Great star. Okay, cool. Hey, I really appreciate it. All right, have a good day. You too. Bye bye. So I got the uh, the manager's email address. We'll go ahead and forward that invoice to them and make sure they send me my check. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm sending a follow-up email to the new manager address. Uh, you know, hey there, this is Austin, locator for so and so. He moved in last month on the 15th. I'm just following up on an invoice I had sent on that day. Uh, here's the invoice again. Thank you so much for your business. More leases to come. Y'all are one of my favorites. Um, and then I just, you know, give them the invoice, my broker, a copy of my broker's license, and then the company W9. They need the W9 for tax reasons, and then they want the broker's license just to make sure that, you know, they're paying a broker and not the agent because, um, as some of you guys might or may not know, um, <clears throat> agents are not directly paid in the real estate industry. Everything goes through a broker. Everything's under a broker umbrella. Um, and so if you're buying or selling a house or if you're leasing an apartment or leasing a property, the, the seller broker pays the buyer broker or the apartment pays the 
list or you know the locating broker when the broker pays the agent via uh, broker agent split. In my case, I'm paid 100% through my broker. Uh, fortunately enough, uh, it's my family. My mother is my broker, uh, but there's a lot of other brokers out there that you can do 100% with. So that's not some kind of anomaly. Um, I could have easily gone somewhere else and gotten the same setup. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm building a business. I'm I'm hiring. I'm trying to hire agents. I'm trying to blow up Austin, Houston, Dallas. Um, maybe have a little bit of a San Antonio market. I just want to, uh, you know, build an opportunity for you know young agents or any inexperienced agents to really just come in the real estate market and just kill it. Um, you know, as you guys saw in my previous video when I did a roof cleaning uh, job, you know, I, I invoiced twenty thousand dollars last month. Uh, so really cool stuff, and I feel like I didn't work that hard either. I felt like I was maybe working twenty or thirty hours a week. I definitely had a lot of time to just go out, and take my dog to the lake. I had did a lot of activities, did a lot of pressure washing jobs. It was a pretty big month in the pressure washing job, pressure washing business as well last month. So. But I felt like I didn't work. I definitely didn't work as hard at all for the twenty thousand in invoicing for apartment locating versus the eight or ten thousand for the power washing. So, um, if you're thinking about getting a real estate license or you're um, haven't thought about it yet, and you cruised on this video just from uh, YouTube, it's definitely something you can get into. You guys can go look at my previous videos of you know day in the life of the apartment locator. Uh, you know, what is apartment locating? Some of my other previous videos uh, you guys might have seen, or just go to my, my most recent last video. It's a roof cleaning and then how much I made in May as a real estate agent. Uh, you guys can definitely absorb some of that information. It's a lot of good stuff. But right now, I'm fixing to send this email. Send. Great. So now uh, we're pretty chillax for the day. Um, I'm going to look at my Google Calendar. I got nothing on the books for today. Uh, I do have a couple estimates I need to run later. Uh, one estimate, I need to go take a look at this house for, as far as power washing, but I think today I'm going to be pretty chill. I'm going to go run to the gym and I'm going to go down to Barton Springs, take my dog down to Barton Springs and we'll swim for a little bit, enjoy some of this uh, nice weather. Um, and that's just the beauty of just kind of working for yourself. You know, back a year ago, a year and a half ago when I was, even before I got in the car business, you know, my first goal was, you know, how do I make a lot of money? Then the second goal was, okay, I'm making good money at the car business, but how do I control my time? And that's just been the ultimate math equation uh, for me and is setting myself up you know, to live a happy and a great life, but most importantly, controlling my time, guys, because um, you know, a lot of you guys know that um, you know, we can go out there and make all kinds of money, but at the end of the day, we don't get time back. Time is so precious, and everyone spends so much time uh, working for money, but no one spends any time working for their time, right? So they got to set up, set themselves up in such a way where they can be successful as well as control their time. And that's my mission. Um, because at the end of the day, guys, I want to build, I want to have a family, uh, soon in the next, you know, however many years, but I want to be there. I want to be in the trenches with my kids. I want, you know, I want to live a great life with my wife. I want to travel. I want to, be there at my kids basketball and sports games I want to be there coaching I want to be there I want to be that dad and uh, I need to set my life up in such a way where I can accomplish these things so definitely gonna build a, a big real estate team a real estate company is my uh, long-term goal uh, hiring agents is, is gonna be happening in the short term uh, working with me and I'm gonna be out there as an agent as well just in the trenches just you know leasing teaching uh, firing people up. That's what I like. I thought I love doing and as far as the power washing uh, You know, I need someone that can run this truck and uh, help me grow that business as well So I might look into a general manager. I might look into maybe a guy that can you know all conversations are open, you know in that aspect so uh, But yeah, let's head down to Barton Springs and let's enjoy the day. Bella. So we are out here, guys. It's kind of like my peace and tranquility spot right here. 
Got my black coffee. Very fortunate that I can, you know, spend a weekday, Monday during the day out here enjoying the sun, enjoying the water before it gets too hot. Gonna hit the gym after this, do a nice little shoulder workout. Uh, maybe spend some, spend some time with a friend later on, grill some steaks. Uh, still waiting to hear back from that one apartment I sent, uh, followed up with on an invoice from 30 days ago. And uh, yeah, we're cruising for a bruising. It's been about, at the end of the week, we're gonna have a lot of pressure washing jobs coming up that I'm gonna need to take care of, so. Bella, come on. But how nice is that water? How nice is that water? This is Austin, Texas, guys. It's beautiful. I live about five minutes from here. This water never goes dry either. It comes right from this dam right here from the Barton Springs pool. It's 69 degrees year round. It's beautiful. Cheers. All right, guys, we just left Barton Springs not that long ago, uh, came home, and now it's time to hit the gym. Um, and there it is. That is my gym. Good old LA fitness for you. Not gonna be that guy that goes in there with a camera filming my workout routine, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hold on that. <laughs> uh, but as far as the rest of the plan for the rest of the day, we're gonna have a good friend of mine coming. Uh, we're gonna go grill by the pool. Um, he's actually the brand ambassador for Audi. Um, Audi Sport Racing, so he works at the Audi dealership. He pretty much uh, does all the sales when it comes to the RS7, all the R models, the R8 models. So he's, um, you know, been in sales for a long time. Another one of my um, really good, successful friends. All right, so we just got back from the gym. Shoulders are all pumped up, and uh, we're fixing to have a nice little break fast. Um, not a lot of you guys know, but I actually fast. I do not eat breakfast. I only eat about one to two meals per day. That keeps me quick behind the ears, um, on point, and uh, a lot of natural energy. There's tons of health benefits to fasting, but I'm fixing to break my fast with a nice little four ounce steak, some eggs and some egg whites, and some toast. And then we'll head down to the pool with my boy Clay, talk about some stuff, show you guys some of the views we got from our apartment complex, and uh, let's get to it. Look at that guys, beautiful. One egg. And the goals were only winning the What's going on guys, we're back from the pool. My boy Clay did not kind of want to be on camera. That's all fine and dandy. Uh, but we're actually making dinner and this is what we got going for dinner. Nice little guacamole, rice and some chicken. Watching the last dance. Greatest basketball player ever. So, uh, not worth showing for the rest of the night, guys. What's going on, guys? Um, it's the next day, actually. And uh, got done at the pool yesterday and then kind of had a, you know, got focused on some other stuff and I didn't pick up the camera. But anyways, the next morning, I kind of want to show you guys this. It's an RV we just cleaned. It's right near my house. It's a, you know, a little $350 job, but normally I wouldn't, I would just put this on something I'm doing bigger jobs with on the same day, just kind of make it one big day. But since this guy's like my next door neighbor, you know, so why not, why not just come over here and check it out and clean it. It took me about 45 minutes, $350 got on the roof and we got up all that organic material on the roof as well and I'm looking around this is um, all right sorry the customer client come back out and talk to me but I'm looking around and I see there's got to be at least 200 150 of these RVs out here and most of them are dirty and if I can get 300 to 350 a pop cleaning these things I mean I can That'd be a pretty good deal. So what I'm gonna fix in it is I'm gonna put you guys in my pocket here in a second. I'm gonna go up here and speak with Larry. He's the manager of this property. Um, give him some of my business cards and see how we can work out some kind of deal. Uh, maybe he'll post my stuff in the office and whatnot. So I'm gonna go have a conversation with this guy 
and we will see what happens. All right, guys, it's gonna kind of wrap up this video. I gave the RV manager's son my business card and some of my information, so um, see what happens with that. There's about almost 200 RVs in this huge lot uh, in Zilker Park. Um, and I'd say 75% of them are dirtier as hell. They have never, never, never been cleaned. Um, and as you can see, some of the before and afters I'm posting right now. The RV that we just cleaned turned out fantastic. So we're gonna sell that. And uh, that's it. As far as the rest of the day, I'm gonna go home uh, and clean out my tanks. I'm gonna go to my family's property, take my tanks out in the back, clean them out. They got all kind of salt deposits on the back, salt deposits on the bottom of it. Clean them out, get them ready for this weekend. Got a couple thousand dollars worth of work to do in the next couple days. Uh, so we'll take care of that. And then I got some apartment managers I need to call um, and make sure they saw my invoices. Um, so I can get those paid out to me. Got to clean out. I'm still owed. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have. A, I'm gonna be having a lot of apartment checks come my way here shortly. Just gotta make sure, you know, they have my my broker's license, my W9 info, and uh, you know they got those invoices all good and dandy. There's all kinds of softwares needed that some of these people require to submit invoices. So, you know. Sometimes the easy money is not easy money that it's made. Sometimes has the most headaches to deal with. So we'll deal with that. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later on the next video. Peace.